EBMT's Basic Science Award seeks to encourage the basic research driving the field forward. This year, Antonio Muller will be presenting a paper on the role of the protein June in graft versus host disease. Dr. Muller, many congratulations on the award and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. First, I wonder if we could start by you telling us what's our understanding of the role that June can play in graft versus host disease. Let me start with saying that chronic GVHD is a very common complication following allogeneic hematopoietic cell transplantation, affecting 40 to 50 percent of patients and often resulting in a substantial impairment of quality of life. In contrast to acute GVHD, which has a pretty straightforward pathophysiology of donor T cells infiltrating and damaging inflamed tissues, the pathophysiology of chronic GVHD is very poorly understood. One reason for that is chronic graft versus host disease is probably not just one disease, but several end-stage fibrotic conditions following several weeks of inflammation in those tissues. The other problem is also we have no preclinical models to study the disease well. And as a consequence, there is a major lack and need for uh, therapies for these patients, which right now basically are treated with uh, steroids. We have been studying and developing preclinical models of chronic GVHD for many years. When then we met Gerlinda Wernig and her lab at Stanford, who has been studying fibrosis and uh, the pathophysiology of fibrosis for many years. That is how we got together. The lab of Gerlinda Wernig had discovered the role of June in many fibrotic diseases and conditions. We had the models for chronic GVHD, and so it was very clear we should get together and study the role of June in chronic GVHD. So how exactly did you investigate this and where did June activation take place in the experiment? So the first thing was that um, we had a whole freezer full of mouse tissues, sclerodermatous skin lesions that we had uh, frozen down and that we had paraffin embedded. And so we basically just need to pull those tissues out of our tissue bank and see whether June expression was also increased in those um, uh, skin lesions. And we saw it was highly expressed. And so the next step was that we pulled human skin samples from patients with sclerodermatous graft versus host disease from the pathology department and examined the expression level of June in those tissues. And also there we found it was highly um, expressed and increased. The next step was that we biopsied patients with sclerodermatous graft versus host disease and looked at the fresh skin samples and looked at the expression level of June and chromatin accessibility of June itself, but also certain downstream uh, transcription factors and immune regulators. Um, and so we found that June activates um, CD47 and IL-6 receptor and other hedgehog pathway uh, members. And when we downregulated or knocked down a June, then uh, those regulators went down as well. And uh, ultimately, we implanted fresh human sclerodermatous skin cells under the kidney capsule of immunocompromised mice and studied the in vivo uh, growth um, of those cells and also treatment of those cells then in a, a biological um, condition. So what ultimately then did the experiment demonstrate? Well, um, uh, the experiments demonstrated that in manifested scleroderma, June as a transcription factor, which is a known transcription factor in many inflammatory responses, is highly upregulated and highly expressed. And we identified some downstream um, factors that were regulated by June. Um, and we showed that this can be targeted by certain agents like uh, CD47 and IL-6 antibodies, but also hedgehog inhibitors. And this is highly important and critical because A, we do believe that chronic GVHD is not one disease with one clear pathway, but that many immunological conditions and, and inflammatory chronic conditions can end in one fibrotic pathway. So if we hit and target a downstream fibrotic pathway, that may actually be 
a good thing to resolve um, like chronic lesions if that is targetable with um, drugs. And finally, what would you say that winning this award means to you? And we'd all love to know as well, what's next for the team? So what that means is a an appreciation of the unmet need that we have all those patients and we do more and more transplants, patients get older and older. So it's an appreciation that there is really a big need as much as we get better in many areas of transplantation, chronic GVHD remains a big hurdle and a big obstacle to the success of uh, this treatment. So it's an appreciation of the need and it's an appreciation for us personally of all those many years that we've studied um, the disease where ultimately we hope that we can A, contribute a little bit to a better understanding of at least some features of chronic GVHD and ultimately also offer new therapeutic key points where we can use drugs that already exist to interrupt or resolve such a chronic uh, fibrotic process. Dr. Muller, congratulations once again and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.